stop losing sleep and get organized. Phone Burner uses a concept of foldering to help you manage and organize your data in the Phone Burner system. So from the contact manager, you can click on this gear to the right of the folders label, and you'll see an option to create a new folder. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, before we just start willy nilly adding folders to our phone burner system, we need to think about our data. What is it that we're trying to do? How should we organize our data? Are we gonna be breaking our lists up into multiple campaigns? Are we gonna have one list that we're constantly working through that we're adding more leads to on a regular basis and then segmenting that data out based off the outcome of the calls? Now that's the concept we're gonna start with right now. So let's start with a main lead list folder. So I'm gonna click on folder name here. And I'm gonna name this folder campaign calls. I can give it a description to help you remember exactly why you created this folder. We can also determine where this folder should exist at the top of all folders, bottom of all folders, inside a folder, above a folder, below a folder. Now, because this is the start of all my calls, I'm going to put this at the top of all folders. I can also assign a specific contact manager layout to a specific folder if I want. But since we haven't talked about that yet, we're going to go ahead and skip that and click on save. The page is going to refresh and we're going to see our new folder there. And this is where we're going to import all of our new contacts into the system. However, as we start calling through these contacts, we're going to want to pull them out of the campaign calls folder and into other folders based off of those call outcomes. So let's go ahead and click on that gear one more time. We're going to go to new folder. And let's say the goal of our campaign is to set appointments. So we might want to have a folder for all of the contacts we've connected with and we've set an appointment with. So I can create a folder called set appointment. Now again, I have to decide where to put this folder. In this particular case, I actually want to put this folder inside another folder. I want to put it inside my campaign calls folder. Again, I'm going to leave the layout set to default and I'm going to save this folder. Now another situation that I may run into when I'm making my campaign calls is somebody that I connect with that I want to follow up with, but for whatever reason, they weren't willing to book an appointment with me. So I'm going to click on new folder. I'm going to call this folder follow ups. Again, I'm going to put this one inside another folder. I'm going to put it inside my campaign calls folder and I'm going to save that. Now, of course, everybody I connect with is not necessarily going to fall into the set appointment or follow ups bucket. There may be some people who are just not interested. So let's create a not interested folder. And again, I'm going to put this inside my campaign calls folder and we're going to save that. Now that you have a good idea of how you can start to create folders to help you get organized, there's a couple other things that I want to talk about. First, we've got these three folders, not interested, follow ups and set appointment. These might not be in the specific order that I want them in. So I'm going to click on this gear and I'm going to go down to reorder folders. From here, I can drag and drop the folders where I want them. So let's say I want set appointment at the top, follow ups and then not interested. I don't have to click save or anything. It's going to save. Now I can go back to contacts and you'll see those folders are in the order that I just set them to. Now, what if I want to change the name or description of these folders? Let's go ahead and click on our gear and go to manage folders. When you first visit the manage folders page, you'll have the option to go through a tour. I'm going to go ahead and end the tour, but by all means, you should go through the tour. From here, I can see a list of all my folders. I can also edit these folders. So let's say I want to change the name of my set appointment folder. So I can click on this little edit pencil. Maybe I just want to call it appointments. Save changes. Now, if I go back to contacts, we'll see that that folder name is now updated to match what I just changed on the other page. And now it's time for you to start configuring your folders for success. Once you've done that, come back here, mark this step as completed, and let's move on.